Welcome to this video that's going to explain what dual rates are, what they do and how they work. Too often when you're reading forum posts, watching YouTube videos or even reading the manual for your new computer radio, it will tell you how to do things like set expo and dual rates up but not necessarily take the time to explain what they are. And as new people coming into the hobby, it can be very daunting when you have to read through all this terminology and it isn't being made clear what it actually all really means. I found this when I bought my first computer radio eight years ago. I read the manual and was really none the wiser. It did a great job of telling me how to set everything up, but I still didn't understand what the difference between Expo and dual rates were. There is another video that um, you can watch here that talks about what exponential is, but this one we're going to talk about dual rates. There's some terminology that we need to talk about first before we get into what dual rates are. And you'll see this um, in posts. So first of all, let's talk about what throw or travel is. Throw or travel or distance is just the amount that a servo moves. So at the moment, we're moving about 80% of our full travel. And if I flick the switch on the radio, we now, for the same movement on the stick, it's now moving to high rates. So high rates tend to be the rate that gives you the maximum amount of movement. The low rate setting is the one that gives you the smaller amount of movement. So how do you actually set this up? Well, if I just show you the screen of my trusty DX7, you can see I'm in the dual rate and expo menu, menu and we're looking at the elevator channel. There's no exponential set, but dual rate is set to 80%. If I flick the switch on the corner of the radio, it flicks between 100 and 80%. And that switch on the corner is the one that I'm flicking so that for one mode, I can get 80% travel, and that's what it gives me. And then if I flick in the switch, it now goes to 100% travel, and I get that extra movement. But why would I want it? What's the point of dual rates? Well, the point is that this, servo might be connected to a control surface on your craft. So let's assume it's connected to the elevator because that's what we're using here today. So it might be that you want the craft to be nice and calm. So you use the 80% settings first. So you limit the amount of movement on that control surface at the back of the model. But then when you want to go crazy and do 3D and aerobatics, you flick the switch so you go into 100% and now you have the full range of travel, so you get more aggressive stick response. So what you can do is maybe take off at 80%, so you have gentle control swooping flight, and then when you want to show off or try something a bit impressive, snap rolls, loops, etc., pop it into 100%, and now you get that greater movement. So it means that without having to land the plane and change the physical linkages on the control surface, you can change how aggressive everything moves by how much movement you're actually getting out of the radio. In reality, you tend to find that dual rates and exponential are used together. So exponential, as we talked about in the other video, just deadens the stick around the middle point, but you'll find that by using both, you can make a very twitchy, hard to fly model much easier to manage. So hopefully that explains what dual rates is. And if you have any questions, pop them underneath the video. And as usual, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and happy flying.